I know union workers, even people that live in Tyre that are opposed to this development in their community. So we're not trying to keep people from having a job or making a living. This casino could have gone someplace where these people would still have a job, but it should go someplace where casinos would be welcomed. It should go someplace where a casino would be in a community that doesn't land itself where people don't want it. I question this great need for jobs. Uh, a couple weeks ago I was driving down 5 and 20 through Seneca Falls and I noticed at the edge of town that the Nice and Easy had a big billboard out saying um, hiring within, please come, whatever, whatever. They were hiring and then I noticed that right next to it the uh, car place was hiring and then Avicoli's Pizza had a sign out hiring. Little Italy had a sign out hiring. I stopped at downtown Delhi for a bite to eat for dinner. They had a sign that they were hiring. I said, okay, so we really need 1,800 more service jobs and the existing businesses can't find enough employees. As far as the casino providing construction jobs, um, my husband is in that field, works, and um, he has not been laid off in years. He constantly has work. He does have to travel for work, but he also gets local work. That's part of the business. Um, even if the casino were to come in, it would provide these people with local work for a month or so. I remember somebody telling me the number, unemployment number entire was like, not even it was like 20 people or something and most of them are stay-at-home moms by choice. Oh, I don't um, really know anybody that, that, is, that is unemployed in this area, possibly underemployed, but to me that's a casino is underemployment. Mr. Wilmot would have us believe that we're not going to have to pay any taxes anymore. I find that very hard to believe when on a lot of his own properties he doesn't pay his own taxes. I would have to see it to believe it, number one, but uh, Wilmot has proven when he presented his proposal that there would, he would want no, he intimated he didn't need any governmental help, financial help, and he's applied to IDA and received a tremendous amount of tax break and I, I don't know if people know what that amount of tax break compared to what he's going to pay. I mean it's, it's sort of ridiculous for someone to come in, beg to be placed here and then request governmental help. If they're not paying taxes I don't understand where the extra money is going to come into our community that's going to benefit us. And even if he did, it, it wouldn't change my mind one iota. I can pay my own taxes without his help.